Welcome back to my channel. Let's continue the configuration on the iMagical server side to make a successful communication between the iMagical application for call recording and Cisco call manager. I will share my screen and we will see the other options. Since we have done the configuration for the high availability, and now we have two clusters, two servers, sorry, in our cluster, one as primary and one as secondary. So I will continue with my primary server, which is 10 to 20, 160.60, and we will not work on this server anymore. And we'll see that our configuration is replicated from this primary server to my secondary server. So let's come on the, on the main page. This is the main welcome admin page, and these are all applications which are available for use. And uh, uh, but we need the licenses for this one, okay? But we can use it for 30 days trial period. So I will do one thing. Uh, these are all the shortcuts for all these applications. These are the main main logos, and this is the shortcuts for this one. Something I just want to show you over here. If I want to edit the layout. Uh, as per my licenses availability, I can make it from here as uh, as visible or invisible. Okay, for example, I don't want to see attendant console. I don't want to see this one. I don't want to see this one. So I will just uncheck this one and uh, I will finish this one and uh, it will be disappear. Okay, so this is another facility which is available. So I will put it back. So I will go to the admin. From here, I have a user management. There are some system parameter, licenses, support, monitoring. Monitoring is for the calls. And then I can do the integration with presence, Jabber, high availability, we have, we have done it. Audit trail is also available, okay? For the record keeping, we will see later on. So I'll go to the user management and I'll go to the create new users. At present, I do not have any user created. This user should be available in the Cisco call manager as well. Okay, for example, the username, uh, there are some compulsory with the static, but uh, the which is very important uh, to make the call successful, that is the username and uh, then the extension number, okay, and uh, the device name, last name, or first name, or email address. But I will do one thing, I will do the integration uh, as LDAP. Okay, so I'll go back to this one. This is one option I can import the file, like I can export the file from Cisco call manager and then I can import in iMagical server using this option. And then my all user will be available. Another option is synchronize user with an external data source. In the external data source, this is option is enabled. This one, I can do one thing, I will just show you over here. Yes, I will do one thing. Either I can select Active Directory or I can use as LDAP or I can use CUCL. For my setup, I will sync this uh, iMagical application with my Cisco Call Manager because in the Cisco Call Manager, is there is already users available because on my Call Manager, it is already uh, synced with LDAP. Okay, so for me, I will just select CUCM and once I will select the CUCM, I have to configure this options available. Let's see what's available over here. On this page, I will mention PBX address. This is my publisher IP address. Okay. I will mention my pub publisher IP address. Then I have to uh, mention my subscriber 100. Then I will mention the voice mail number. I will discuss this option later on in the Cisco call manager. On the Cisco call manager, I have to configure a voicemail number where my recording will be identified. Okay, so I will just mention 8500. Then MWI address, we do not need to mention. Call manager option, uh, call manager username, I will mention here as admin and password, I need to mention. This is my password, okay? I will just save this configuration. Now my configuration is safe. I'll go back the same page and uh, i will do one thing user authentication settings let me see yes this is also option i can do from here as well cisco call manager uci suit i have to use select this option because i'm using my cisco 
call manager. Either I think I have to select this one or this one. Let's see which option will work. I'll go back. I think I have to go and check this configuration here. Configure data source. It is done already. Yes. Yes, now it's disabled. Okay. I did not select this option. So I will just make it refresh. And I will run this setup now. Okay. Now the process is started. My, now my uh, I magical application will sync with my Cisco call manager and uh, all the users which are already available in my Cisco call manager, it will be import in the iMagical application. But it doesn't mean that I have to configure uh, recording for on all those users. I will select some specific users because there are some configuration required on the call manager as well in the phone line setting. Okay, so uh, let this process finish. It will take maybe another uh, approximate five to 10 minutes depend on uh, on the list of users, how much user I have. So once it finish, we will continue with our remaining things. Okay, so my all the users list is synced now. So you can see my all users are available here. So uh, this section is done as well. Let's move to the some other parameters. System error parameter, IP telephone system parameter we already defined uh, when we uh, did for the users. It is the same setting. I'll go back. Let's see outgoing email parameters. Okay, this one we have to configure the email. This is optional, but this is an important option. Like if some uh, uh, some configuration is changed or anything happen, the email will be a trigger from uh, from the iMagical to your uh, uh, to your uh, email address. Okay, so I will just select enable outgoing email. Okay, and I will test my connection. Connection to mail server successfully verified. So it's mean. My uh, my iMagical server is reachable with my LDAP. I will save this configuration. I'll go back. Numbering plan. This is not important and not part of uh, our configuration. This is with some other things. User authentication setting. Let me check what over here. Already selected this one. Proxy setting. We do not need. Scare communication for certificate is another thing. Optional thing. If we configure it, it's better. This is the iMagical Cloud Service Authentication. So we have almost done. Lessons I will do in the last. In the support. Let's see what options are available. Okay. In the support page, uh, this one is available. Uh, if you want to collect the logs, in case you have any issue, you open a case with iMagical support team. So they will ask you to download information summary. Okay. Once you click over here, it will download one uh, one zip file and then you can send it to the iMagical team for their review. Other than this one, there's the information related with the with the with the with the platform what we're using, what is the cluster. Like this is just information with the with applications suite and uh, what suite uh, number of users, total extensions are this one. So these are just optional uh, the CPU usage, disk available memory or whatever it is, all, all information is available here. Then in the database server side, it is relation with the with the database. What is the database available? How much space? So it's it's just a normal information. This is only required when you send logs to iMagical support team. In the maintenance, uh, you can run the maintenance as well time to time to uh, defragmentation of the, of the storage. You can run from here. Uh, telephone information is again PBX CUCM. This is the information of my Cisco call manager. Okay, so uh, this is the model of my Cisco call manager. How many devices I have? So this is the information for this one. On the virtualization information, again, uh, it's a CPU. I think this is not some so important. Uh, let's see what's available in the logs. Yes, enable diagnostic logs. You can keep this enable log. How many for uh, days you keep the logs? So you have to enable this one. Okay, and uh, you will uh, with uh, for application, I will just select date with something like extended time, for example, for this one, okay, like this one, okay, and we have to save this one. Sorry, this is for download, okay, if you want to download the log, it will download the log since we do not have anything, so nothing is there. Let's see what is in the 
monitoring in the monitoring i believe it is the again yes this is my cluster uh, information we already discussed in the previous uh, previous uh, episode okay so let's come to the event history this is related with the events that what's are happen okay in the past then i'll come to the mail configuration i will configure as administrator email address this is for my imagical okay i will check the connection safe okay then the snmp snmp if you have a monitoring system uh, you have to uh, configure your uh, monitoring server here uh, to get the traps logs okay for example i have a solar wind i will just mention the ip of my solar wind server and i have to mention the string community string i will do one thing let me check send test yes it is sent already i will show you again okay so logs have been sent i can check on my cisco call manager as well so i will save this one okay so guys this is the setup which is required on the on the imagical server side we almost done presence is not our part of uh, our episode for today we'll see in the later stage jabber high availability, high availability is already there and my replication is started now let's see on the secondary server that i have this list available there or not okay i go to my secondary server this is my secondary server okay so guys this is the magic of i magical suite application suite that whatever i have configured on my primary server it is sync with my secondary server so it's mean my high availability is working successfully you can see all the things are are sync over here let me see this one yes it's available here support is already there monitoring is there i believe let me check in the high availability yeah okay it's already there in the monitoring yes snmp is not mentioned here this one we have to do it manually okay because this is configuration as an individual server so i will save snmp i will mention as this one save and send traps okay remaining things is it's automatically sync from my primary to my secondary or going email parameters yes this one we have to mention as well because this is an individual setting okay test connection so guys for the licenses part there are two options available either i will activate as an online or either i can do it offline if my imagical server have access with the internet i will do as an online otherwise i can just do for the offline for this one might be you need support from uh, from the imagical support team you have to provide them this string in the uh, in the case uh, as a as a support case and then they will revert you back with the with the string and then you will copy this string on in response and then your product will be registered okay for this one you will just go on the imagical website and you will go on the license with the with the, with your portal access and then you have this string available you will just copy this one into this option and your product will be registered uh, so guys this is our lab for today i hope uh, you have learned a lot of things in in this session and uh, make sure uh, your uh, your product should be uh, should be accessible with the, within your network there is no firewall rules available so all these things you have to be make sure uh, before uh, starting the configuration on the imagical server side so after this one we will continue with our final session which is which is the configuration on the cisco call manager side so inshallah see you soon with uh, with our our hopefully final uh, final episode for the call manager configuration so uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this channel stay tuned take care allah hafiz bye